catastrophic destruction and a tremendous, tremendous need for aid. And that's where Thomas Tide comes in. He's the CEO of Direct Relief. It's a nonprofit agency that provides medical assistance to people in need all across the planet. Now, Mr. Tide, what is the biggest need right now in the Philippines? Well, I think in general, I think the food, water, shelter, and medical attention is what you're concerned about after a big event like this. Um, one of your you know, on-the-ground reporters was just talking about the water situation. Direct Relief has been focused um, since last month, the earthquake last month, and looking forward now with the storm on the medical requirements that uh, we can expect that, that people will need in the area and have been mobilizing and have material en route trying to make sure that the, the right material is there to provide to what we anticipate to be the, the typical pattern of injuries and potential illnesses that exist in the aftermath of a situation like this. Now, Mr. Tai, uh, how are you in terms of resources? Do you need donations? And, and on behalf of viewers across the, the United States, how exactly could they help provide support? Well, you know, we, we like many groups, don't mobilize, uh, try to plan for the largest storm ever. So these things do require um, additional resources that weren't planned for. You know, we and uh, other groups are trying to mobilize the resources required to help in the Philippines and likely in Vietnam, Laos, and Cambodia, as well as the storm progresses up uh, through the South China Sea and makes landfall. So in our case, directrelief.org has the most current information and a way that people, if they are in a position to make a contribution, can do that. Okay, uh, Thomas, like one last question, if, if we can. Uh, the Philippines just went through a major earthquake last month. Your agency provided uh, so many relief uh, supplies to, to those who needed it. Did you guys ever leave, or have you all been in the Philippines since the, the earthquake? Yeah, we're working with a lot of the local Philippine organizations coming from the U.S., mobilizing specific uh, required, you know, uh, medications and medical supplies and making sure that those are the right materials that we can transport first to Manila and then to the affected areas. So we'll continue that pipeline of support as long as, uh, as is needed. Thomas Tig, thanks so much with Direct, uh, Direct Relief, uh, an amazing organization. And for those who care to contribute, Jen, what's amazing is 100% of all contributions go to those in need. Jen? That is great to hear, Reynolds. Thank you for that. Let's go ahead and take a look at our weather. This